Today's adventure was 50 years in the making. Hey everyone, it's Cashy. Today's adventure brings us to Cincinnati, Ohio to the Museum Center at Union Terminal, or as I like to call it, the Hall of Justice. And we are going to see an exhibit that celebrates the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11's landing on the moon. I cannot wait to show it to you, so let's go take a look. Our adventure starts here. We're getting ready to enter some lunar goodness. This painting of an eagle is done by John Ruthven and he was commissioned by Ohio Governor James Rhodes to paint it and it was to commemorate the achievements of astronaut Neil Armstrong. This print is signed by both Ruthven and Neil Armstrong. This is Neil Armstrong toasting John Ruthven. Ruthven and Armstrong became friends and hunting buddies. Here's a photo of a crowd at Mascot Airport in Sydney gathering around a television watching the moon landing. This is a great photo of one of the astronauts saluting the flag on the moon. Here's Neil Armstrong, the first man on the moon. He was the commander. This is Michael Collins. He was the command module pilot. This is Buzz Aldrin. He was a lunar module pilot and the second man on the moon. This is a model of the Saturn V rocket that took them to the moon. This gives you an idea of how tall the Saturn V rocket was. It was taller than a Statue of Liberty. The event caused everyone to get a little moon crazed, including Charles Schultz. Charles Schultz allowed Snoopy and the other Peanuts characters to serve as symbols for the space program. This is the Apollo 11 command module after its post-flight quarantine. Here's the Lunar Orbit Rendezvous mission poster. Before NASA, the idea of going to the moon was the subject of science fiction. Now it's science fact. This is the flight plan for the command module. Here's Michael Collins' watch that he used on the mission. In 1978, Jimmy Carter presented Neil Armstrong the Congressional Space Medal of Honor for his work with Apollo 11. This was the command module's medical kit. Now this is really cool. This is the Apollo 11 command module. Michael Collins piloted this while Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong were on the moon and then it brought them home. This is the lunar lander taking off and getting ready to rendezvous with the command module. This is a great find. They did not get this from the bottom of the ocean until 2013. This is an F1 engine injector plate. This piece is from one of the first stage engines of the Apollo 11's rocket. Here's the other side of the F1 engine injector plate. Check out this timeline where they race against the Russians to go to the moon. And this is Apollo 17, the last Apollo flight to go up into space. When Apollo 11 collected samples of moon rocks, they put them in this case and brought them back to Earth for analysis. Wow, check this out. This is Buzz Aldrin's extravehicular gloves and visor. It's pretty crazy to think that these were actually on the moon. I'm not sure if you can see this or not. I'll try to get a better shot in a second, but these are lunar instructions that were sewn onto Buzz Aldrin's gloves that told him the procedures to follow through while he was on the moon. This is so cool being able to see this up close and in person. Here's how the command module looked when it first returned from space. To guard against moon germs, when the crew returned they had to put on isolation garments and then immediately went into quarantine. 
This is a photo of President Richard Nixon greeting the crew as they came home. Here's the door from the command module, and it looks pretty small from here even. And here's what the door would look on the inside of the command module. You can see all the gears to make sure it remains airtight. You often hear how hot it gets when they come into re-entry, and this gives you an idea of what it's like. This is a before and after of the heat shield. This is before, and here's after. If necessary, the crew was supplied with a survival kit. Fortunately, they didn't need it. The exhibit I just showed you is part of a gallery that's going to be opened at the Smithsonian in 2022. I'm really lucky to show you such a clear shot of the command module a minute ago because when it gets to the Smithsonian it's going to be enclosed in glass. Tycho Central Peak. And of course, at the end of the exhibit, you can get some cool merch at the gift shop. They have some really cool stuff. Sadly, they are not in adult sizes. I thought this was a snow globe, but it's actually a puzzle. The astronaut floats around and you have to try to get him back inside his footprints. Score. Yep, not my size. I hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. I cannot believe I was that close to the command module of Apollo 11. And in the description box down below, I will have a link to my Neil Armstrong Museum that I had filmed a few months ago. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. In the description box down below, I'll also have links to my PayPal and my Patreon page if you'd like to help contribute to my adventures. I'll also have a link to my Teespring if you want a Cashew Paul t-shirt, coffee mug, or tote bag. So until next time, everyone, this is Cashew signing off. That's the coolest shot. That's the first shot I've ever